man, the Lord is visiting the earth, okay? And, and one of those plagues is, is scorching heat, man, okay? That's going to lead ultimately in the last days to, to uh, nuclear fire, man, the lake of fire that the scripture speaks about. You're going to have to endure the heat from now until then, okay? So it would behoove you to seek the Lord in these times because if you can't, if you can't stand the, the super hot fervent heat on the earth right now, how much more the lake of fire, okay? That's something you got to consider. You gotta think about repentance, Lord, or not, because it, it, it's either or. But if you do, it'll be beneficial and, prof uh, and profitable out to you. And if you don't, ultimately it's gonna be a judgment. All right. So we're gonna open up to that. What's that? Revelation. Yeah, yeah. He opened. Right, right, right. right, right, right. uh, Revelation 16. Go your ways and pour out the vow of the, of the Most High upon the earth. Which the, the vows are it's, it's symbolic for the different plagues and events. Where the most I've torn out of the earth. Okay? That's, so, a, that's, a, the that's right, brother. It's, it's, it's a metaphor. Okay? For the Lord, you know, placing different events and uh, placing different things on the earth. And um, I want to jump down. The sun and power was given unto him to scorch men with fire. And men were scorched with great heat. And blaspheme the name of God, which has power over these plagues, and they repented not to give him glory. There you go, man. <laughs> these plagues are even uh, man. Because guess what? Every year annually people die from the heat, man. Strokes. This is an annual thing. Every year, all over the earth, people die. Okay? From the from the heat, man. Okay? That it works if they talk about. That's like, you can imagine if you even have a, something like an EMP, when the, when the electrical power system goes out, okay, people people die, man, okay? Because people need to, people be on ventilators, different kinds of machines that keep them going, okay? When they can't be cool or have a, a certain body temperature, when they just heat itself, they, they don't last, man. Old, young, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, at the end of the day, you got you to gotta, you gotta give praises to the Most High for when he brings the different seasons of weather. You know, you can't, you can't constantly be in heat. You're going to need something to cool you down. Right. You know? You got a record breaking heat happening on the planet Earth. We just read it in the scriptures. The Bible is a prophetic book. Okay, we are here to say things before it happens. That's the prophet's job. So the plagues that we see, well, guess who's bringing the plagues? The right. Heavenly Father, the Yahweh Shai, via the angels. Right. It's very hot. People are what they're doing. Hot. They want they they crying out for water. You see? What happens when uh, there's no water in the store? What happens when your AC go out? And, 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 and now with that, the heat makes people get violent too. Okay? When it's when when you're, when you're squandering heat, hey, you ever see when you the traffic, how you think road rage? Some people, not everybody, believe it or not, not everybody AC work, man. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're in front of somebody and he won't go, you didn't have to believe he's gonna lose it. Because yeah, yeah. he's sitting in the car in the hot out heat. Nice. That's why summertime. Well also uh what which are frustrating people, and ultimately, they're going to fight one another. There you go. And it goes, it goes along with the prophecy, uh, uh, 4, 12, because you shall abound the love of men shall wax. Because iniquity, the love of men shall wax cold. And that's what we're seeing, and we know that word cold goes into psycho. People here acting psychotic, and not that, they psych up on drugs, on meds, mm -hmm. different meds, man. 
remember they took the job. They yeah. oh, so 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 their wits not with them. They're depressed. Mm -hmm. Rent is going up. Yep. They're worried. Mm -hmm. Anxiety. Mm -hmm. Anxious. Right? People say be careful for nothing. All right? That's true. For Food the believers, price. we're not worried. Yeah. We trust in Yahweh be Yahweh Shai. But these people have no covering. I can't, I can't remember when I was reading something, an article or something I saw online the other day, where this guy was speaking of uh, this guy who took his own life. He committed suicide. The guy was saying how he was a bit trouble, but recently he couldn't pay his rent. Yeah. You see, people are being brought to the brink of destruction in their own minds. Yeah. Hey. They can't survive. And yeah. you had that guy, uh, the chief police yeah. of, oh, yeah. of Dade yeah. County. Yeah. Yeah. He tried to blow his brains out. <laughs> the chief work. of police. <laughs> The chief, oh, he had an argument with his wife. Right, and it didn't work. Mm-hmm. You probably find out he was a Momo or something. <laughs> you know, those guys be freaky. <laughs> but I, back to what, what we're saying about uh, the, the, they going crazy. Uh, since 20, people have been um, um, like, they be needing to talk to people because they don't say to the world. And I know this for a fact, sister, she is a therapist and she got rich. Yep. She got rich in 2020. My sister, she has a business, and she got a seven-figure business now. Mm. Off of people just going psychotic. Right. Talk to somebody. Mm. I know this. Going crazy, man. They need to talk to people. But we, we uh, the comforter, man. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 24. And verse three. Oh, you know what? Yeah, Isaiah twenty-four and three. I get to the point. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for Yahweh has spoken this word. Which you know that's going to happen. Uh, you know from the missiles, right? Verse four. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth. And fadeth away the haughty people of the earth do languish. Okay, and when you go into that word languish, all right, in the Hebrew, that word for languish is a uh, amal, amal, and it says to be weak, to droop, to languish, you know, to, to grow feeble, to be weak. Okay. So, oh, it says to be exhausted. <laughs> Tired. <laughs> <laughs> through. <laughs> just fucking through. The haughty people, though. Yeah. yeah. You know, just just a week ago, right. you know, yeah. niggas was popping bottles, right. you know, the doing the, the Rico stroke with the champagne <laughs> in the club. Right. Now, uh, things not looking so good. Yeah, because, because, because now they got to draw back. If they was in they they was they was they was, uh, they was exalted, meaning they was proud and pumped, they're pumped. And now the situation switch on them, now they have to draw back to where reality is. Right. And, and everybody watching them like, damn, what happened, bro? Right. <laughs> you was just flexing. <laughs> but you know? Yeah, yeah. But that's yeah. why the scriptures say was that second edge was fifty. I mean eight and fifty. Yeah. Uh, uh, many, uh, many great miseries yeah. shall happen to them that dwell in in the latter days, roughly paraphrasing, yeah. for they are walking in great pride. Right. Yeah. Gay pride. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of Second <laughs> uh, 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time in the world because they have walked in great pride. And back to what we're speaking about those plagues, man. This is 2nd 16 and 37. Oh, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. That's a plague too, the plague of the mind. The scripture said, give me anything but the plague of the mind. Uh, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth a son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass a womb, which pains when the child coming forth, they slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, yeah. and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Right. So that's all the things that's going to befall the earth. And the scripture speaks of, of mankind's heart failing them, things that, that come upon the earth. And 
those, those are some of the flags that the Lord is going to be sending. You got niggas killing themselves right now over not paying rent. See? Nigga, women about to get raped in the street. Children to get uh, uh, human traffic in broad daylight. Soon. Going out. Right. And you got niggas worrying about rent? Right. Yes, but all of these things that come on the earth, you're going to have to endure them. But it's going to be for judgment for the wicked. Jump up on that side of verse 1. No, Second uh, 16 and 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. Uh -huh. Bird of your sin, cloths of sack and hair, bewail your children, and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. Right, so that's showing you this is going to be a global thing, man. Okay? Especially in the daughter of Babylon, a.k.a. America. But this is going to be a global event. Right? A sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Right. A fire is sent among you, who may quench it? Some of those plagues, go ahead. Plague, plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Right, so you're not going to be able to turn away the hand of the Lord. At the end of the day, the most high will is going to be done. So what if something not believe you? I'm going to stop you. Back to the most high, man. Okay? What you say is going to happen with spoken and written on paper is going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. May any man drive away a hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in stubble? When it have begun to burn, may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord sent up the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Right. No, nobody can deliver over the hands of the Lord. The fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who he that may quench it? He shall and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten. The Lord shall threaten. And who shall not be utterly beaten to power at his presence? It's uh, the, the Lord is speaking right now. Yeah. Through his prophets. So the prophet is chanting down Babylon the Great. So, the, so he's going to threaten, but who's not going to be beat, utterly beaten to power at his presence? So right now he's just speaking, but when he comes, it's over with. The Lord snapping right there. The words of the Lord. That's our body. You know? Yeah. So at the end of the day, man, you're not going to be able to turn back these flags, man. Okay? Storm, tempest, all these different things. Fire, flesh. In 2 Hebrews 15, start at 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand uh -huh. and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plagues and the punishment that the Most High shall bring upon them. I'm saying Egypt is mourning right now, man. Okay, the people are mourning. Okay, they're sad. They're killing themselves. But the Lord is bringing plagues upon the earth, man. People don't know what the fuck is going on. Okay, this nigga is hot. Okay, this is damn, why it's so hot? Why it's so hot? Hey, it's so hot, you sometimes you can't think. Hey, right. like, damn, like, damn, it's hot. You know, Jake's staying in the house. Okay, Jake not really going outside like that. You know, trying That's to stay. Good. Stay, stay home, Jake. Stay, right. stay home and read the Bible. I'm not to kill. You ain't got nothing that's going. If you ain't got no serious business, stay inside, man. Hey, like, like the Lord did in 2020, he kept everybody inside. Right. He doing the same thing now. Keep me on inside. Hot, it's summertime. They, they was thinking of the lift it up. It's summer. Okay, this summer gonna be different. Hot girl summer. Right. 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 <laughs> the Lord shut all that shit down, man. It'll be hot at nighttime. Right. It's hot. It's even hotter. Mm -hmm. So you know, it will get it'll, it'll, the hottest will be uh, at one. Okay, and you expect to cool down around like six, seven. Eleven o'clock at night. It'll still be hot. Right. It's humid. Yeah. Humid as fuck. When you go <laughs> to the beaches, like the water, the water is hot. At night. <laughs> still be hot. I think they already called for, for the season that the water's going to be hot. That's why they're yeah, They right, say yeah. the coral reefs is, is, is damaging. It's so hot. It's bleaching itself because of the, the, the climate. You know? So something's going on. Yeah, this ain't normal. Oh, this guy's talking about uh, an emergency. Yeah, right. Right, which but inside of that is going to be locked down. Hey, uh, you had Claus, Claus' daughter came out of Separa for a uh, permanent lockdown. Climate. Lockdown, yeah. 
daughter. His daughter. Why they keep telling you about the city? Yep. Control. That's right. Yep. It, it, we all you niggas of all this already. Yep. We already right. told y'all this is coming. Lock, we been said lockdown's coming back. You know, I want to sit his ass down. That's on y'all, man. That's on you. But guess what? We got that. Well, I rod. You said you 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 were one again. Yeah, fifteen. Yeah, really good. Fifteen and let me talk about that. We talking about how the plays in Egypt on the hit. America. Okay, uh, second fifteen and eleven. But I'll bring them, bring them with a mighty hand and stretch our arm. It's my Egypt with plagues as before, and we'll destroy all the land there. Uh, it's talking about America. Spiritual Egypt. Okay. We're going to send plagues like we did in ancient Egypt and greater to America, Babylon Egypt. And one of those plagues he sent on the Egyptians was what? The plague of boils. I want to get this out real quick. Extra time. But when you when you when you you go into the Revelation 16, it talks about how uh, the the Quran, you're going to have an ocean. When Jake was ruling, that was one of the plays most I used to take take them out. What she was talking about is Deuteronomy about the fever. All right. The Lord's going to smite our people with the fever, with, you know, cursing, bitterness, mm -hmm. yep. information, information, mildew, mm -hmm. mold. All right. Verse 10. That, that would be a real play, not like the, you know, what happened in 2020. Mm -hmm. right. You know? 98% chance of survival. Right. That, that, <laughs> you, you, if you wasn't a Jake, you was get, you was catching that shit. Yep. Yep. In verse ten, and they took ashes of the furnace and stood before Pharaoh, and Moses sprinkled it toward heaven, and it became a boiled brick with flame upon man. Peace. You put the word blame. It's blisters, boils, boil up. So. Go on to Revelation 6. For those that trust in uh, Esau and you want to take his paragma, right? Right. Expect this. Revelation 16, verse 2. And the first went and poured out his vow upon the earth, and therefore the noise and re restore upon the men which have the mark of the beast, and upon them which worship his image. Okay. Yeah. So if you go ahead and bow to the image. Go ahead and take that 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 uh, mark. Mm -hmm. mark. That's that's going to be all good, man. Right. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna start to, and even if you try to fake it, that's when it's gonna be known that you took it. Or <laughs> or you start to get those songs. Or or you, you might have some guy from, from uh, even Mike Christian say, oh, you know, I'm not taking that. That's the mark. But it say you worship his image too. Right. right. Which if you worship his image, most likely you're gonna mark. Yeah, the Lord gonna cause you to take it. Exactly. He gonna cause you to take it because you are cool with it. Now you already waiting on this damage. Yeah. The only people who take it is the elect. Everybody else gonna take. It. They gonna they gonna take it. Yeah. Might not take it the first week it come out or the second week. They may hold off yeah. for a month. <laughs> but it ain't good, bro. Unless you gonna have some people that's gonna run out into the forest and shit, but the yep. scriptures say they gonna run out of food. Huh. Then they gonna commit cannibalism. Yep, yep, Someone yep. gonna try to come back to the city. All right, fuck it, man. Go go back and get that shit. Yeah, you know. 
Right. This is second Genesis 15 and 57. Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy city shall be brought down, and all thine shall be poured in the They that be in the mountain shall hunger. What the brother was just speaking right. about. That's right. in the Bible, man. Right. And eat their own flesh and drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. Right. right. And that's going to be happening because they didn't sought the Lord in the time of when they had great period of time to do so, they didn't saw the Lord. They choose to go to the clubs, okay? They choose to be out committing adultery. They choose to do everything that the Lord does not delight in. Mm -hmm. right? Hey, yeah. <clears throat> that's really, it's going to be a lot of Edomites, too. Because Jake ain't nothing about running into the jungle, man. Jake gonna stay right here in the city and get that chip. <laughs> and figure it out. <laughs> Jake gonna be getting out the bus. Yeah. You know? Yeah, really, he's so I really, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, a boils. Right? They say because they take that carabin. That carabin, that's not on your body. That's that's something, you know. It sucks. Right. Which they already came out and said those different things. The neural ain't gonna bug the fuck up crazy. So imagine you walk around with a neural link in this hot ass sun. Short circuit. Your ass <laughs> start nah. bugging out. Your fucking the, your phone in the you know God, the, the fucking God. tablet. Oh he we can't fucking live stream no more. We gotta keep this shit in the shade. So imagine you walking out there with a fucking chip in your brain. <laughs> Any problem that gives, remember it's gonna give it in your Exactly. So it's it that shit fuck up and then the frequencies and shit. Yeah. You know that shit go haywire and then the extra frequency. <laughs> I start cooking. Oh, it's so like it. You know? Fucking microwave yourself. <laughs> right. Right. 10G. I could have sworn I heard you both say something about 10 g It's always upgraded. Well, that's why the supposed to say we gotta get out of here. Right. That's <laughs> we gotta get out of here. <laughs> this is over. Oh, goodness, man. <laughs> Matthew 24 and 22. Matter of fact, let me start uh, 21. For well, there shall be great tribulation, not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, no ever shall be. Right, that's talking about Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 chapter 7 verse. That's going to be a time of trouble. <laughs> Uh, what the Bible calls Jacob's trouble, which is talking about you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Negroes, Black, and Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob. I'm talking about a sign of trouble, a time of trouble for you. Now, we know other nations are going to be caught up in that, but you, the main target, man. A time like never before that you can think of in, in history. Uh, wars, slavery, none of that. It's going to be crazy to the point where you're going to need divine intervention. What? And accept. Those days be shortened. Right. There should no flesh be saved. So the way I direct this man is going to be going. That's why I said second and sixteen chapter. Uh, 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 great multitude is kindled over you. All right. They shall be. They should be. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. Right. That's the truth. <laughs> right. It's a no flesh, meaning animals too. Yeah. Animals, anything yeah, right. that has. The Lord didn't put it, a stop there. He got to be stopped. Nobody going going to be alive. Right. The animals, like not the even the animals. Right. So do something which is gonna, gonna, gonna put a grip on the world. Something's gonna happen like major, where time's gonna be ticking on, on, human, on humans. Yeah, mass Life extermination is coming. Right. Well, you got um second edges five and one. I was just about to grab that. Ex I don't know grab yeah, come. That something's gonna happen, man. Right. And, and 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 you, Jake, that's been, it's majority of you Israelites on the earth anyway. Right. So we're the majority. Right. We're the majority. We get, we get. Right. So you gonna fuck around and find out. A lot of people are about to go back to the spirit world. Lord, he about to he about to turn it on full blast. <laughs> it's been trickling, you know. Right. Lord about to. Right. 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 Um, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So that's why the days are gonna be shortened. It's for the elect's sake, the Lord's people, because that's a part of the prophecy. Angel told Mary, you shall the son. Uh, it says, it's, it's, his name will be called Yahushai, which is the noble owner, because he shall save his people. This is why the time is going to be shot. Because that's a prophecy. He, got, he has to come and save his people. 
He got to, he got to deliver his elect, send it forth the angels to gather together the elect from the four winds. That's why land is going to be short. Right. It's good to tell you to pray for a few days, and that's what we do. We pray for a few days because we know we need deliverance. We know we need to get out of here. This place is polluted, man. So, so these Christians talking about a seven-year tribulation, they don't know the fuck they're talking they about. Okay. Can you see this place going another seven years? Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Especially, okay, all hell going to break loose. Then seven years after that? No. We don't see that. How oh, about, everybody be dead. Party? Everybody be dead by a third year. <laughs> um, or less. Hey, the way I, the scriptures say, right. niggas gonna be dying. Right, and we can see it clearly. Even our apostles tell you when they when they make that that uh, mandatory, everything is gonna speed up. Yep. And, and from where things is now measuring the past, we can we can see that's not too far away. We, we can see the five of those words not too far away. Because what Revelation twelve and twelve, right. Esau know he got but a short time. Right. So when Esau come with it, he can't play. Right. When he come with it, ain't no turning back. He got he just gotta go. Right. You see what happened. Last one, so people fucking up, people onto him now because they're losing the information war. So right. They come with it, they come with it full force this time. So now you gotta come with force. Right. You gotta yeah. come with force. The the all the uh, the trickery and the game, you right. know, take here, we'll right. give you a gift card, fifty dollars. Yeah. Wow. Not that shit. Yeah. He, he, he wanted to 2020, which is good because they, they got his ass out of there, <laughs> fired his ass. But um, he was on the he was on the shit saying yeah. we tried to be no. First he said uh, he said oh well, if you don't want to take it, we're not saying you can't shop, but you just can't you can't go to the grocery store. Yeah, you know enough is enough, and you're gonna basically he's gonna take this thing. You're gonna be out of the society. Right. You're gonna do with the corrupt. They're just prepping you. You got a, a, a homo said that. Yep. Which uh hey uh the elder uh from from uh, Mississippi, right? Uh he he uh he had a dream, he had a dream apocalypse. You know, basically it was like people had rabies, but like a, a remix rabies. Oh, people that shoot that shot. That, long when we speak about those powers, you don't know how they gonna turn out. Nah, and you gotta watch the movie Cell with Samuel Jackson and John Cusack. Right. Then watch the movie uh, Kingsman, the first one oh, yeah. with Samuel Jackson. Yeah, He's the same nigga. I'm gonna need the ground. Right, it's, it's a lot of the end of the world movies, but I'm just I'm speaking of those two specifically because. They show in the in in those two movies that it was right. that was going out that was causing people to go crazy, right. you know. Yep. So that's why I mentioned those two movies. Yeah. Right. 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 Which all on Tyrone. They put so much truth in that movie, what? man. Yo, that's how you know East. Like, this shit, like, what you niggas gonna do? No, yeah, yeah. There you go. I'm about to come down on you niggas, too. About five chicken sandwich that you niggas was lined up fighting for people. It was something in that it shit. It was something in that shit. Something in that chicken sandwich, man. Something in that shit. Nah, I ate the fish sandwich. <laughs> the fish sandwich, the hell, is kind of good. <laughs> I think I had one of them chicken sandwiches, too. Look. <laughs> okay, so you niggas be lined up waiting four hours for a chicken sandwich. Something was up. Hey, but what? Something was up. Bro. It's good to say you start eating poison <laughs> and live. Right. You niggas fight, in, in fight like physically. <laughs> you skinny me. I heard that, 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 that small hat on, on YouTube talking about what they put inside the burgers at McDonald's. I know right. that McDonald's of them that. <laughs> right. Right. Yep. They, don't, they don't care about you. They don't have no such things for you. Which they, they showed that in um in the fucking in that other movie with uh what's that movie Undercover Brother with Eddie Eddie Griffin Undercover Brother they showed that in that movie that's an old movie they showed that Esau was putting shit in in the fried chicken that had niggas going crazy. Uh, they don't jack like chicken, bro. You know? Oh yeah. Damn. Boy. And I, I they, Esau be throwing shit like that because you have what's called I'm gonna tell you they got something called batch numbers. Right. 
when when these different corporations and companies send out their products to uh, certain stores and, and grocery stores, they know what's going to what store, what location. Yeah. So they, they, they'll have a certain batch, of, uh, let's say a, a batch of these Cheez-Its. We're gonna put an extra chemical and, and send that uh, shit yeah. to, okay. to this neighbor. And they did the same thing with the Yap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That the yeah, that information has, has, has came out. Some of the people that took it, it was placebo. Right. Yeah. So you got a lot of people saying that, oh, I took a little booster, you, you could have took it because you took it. Uh, right. You, uh, you, you had placebo. You better That's hope you, you got it. You took Salem. Because any experiment, you have to have a control group. So that was it. And then just not to remember, but you had uh today I had a fucking HIV outside the, and I'm looking like they probably giving out HIV. There baby. you go. Bro. Why these shits always in the, in the, in the in in Jake neighborhood? You telling me East Edomites don't catch HIV? These are the most biggest freaks <laughs> on the planet, man. Two animals. Right. right. I see no fucking HIV trucks in in, but it's they got it right outside the gym like. <laughs> you think you uh helping out or you be and them, be wearing them blood donor shits too, I, trust. I just yeah. bro. I was you know, fuck around and drawing blood and giving you shit too. Who knows, man? Yeah. We don't you don't know. What are you even supposed to fuck yourself? Right. But Jake he on he on that far deep. Yeah, just outside, beware. Yeah, outside, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Right, that's what that's what I'm thinking, right. Maybe like you ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> right. And also, we could get a healthy nigga, nigga that'd be lifting weights and shit. Yeah. <laughs> probably giving Jake yep. HIV and yep. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They gave Jake syphilis. Yep. Right. That was, a, that was an experiment that the so-called white men did on our people. Tuskegee experiments. You see? Mm-hmm. The greatest thing about this, all this, they gotta have to pay. They gotta have to pay for these things. What Jake don't pay for his ignorance, you don't yeah. pay, but Esau got to pay for it. And speaking of syphilis, you stay away from, brothers stay away from the Houston oh, chicks. Oh, yeah. They say uh, uh, Houston black women got a 128% spike in syphilis. Yep. It's been an outbreak. <laughs> a black woman, predominantly black woman. Yep. And yeah. a handful of and Ray Rays. Yeah. Okay. Well, basically, I was listening to the podcast, they say well, the same group of women is popping the same group of men. Yeah. Uh, so they popping the, the, what they call popping guys. The guys that's popping right. all the money, they popping the same group of men. Which leaves regular men. So you lucky, you brothers out there that don't burn the women, the fine women, they don't. You all right? You be all right? All right, we'll be a okay. Well, then we right. part of the elite. You be all right? Cause those women, they. Yeah. So Ephesians five verse fifteen. See there that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, mm. redeeming the time because the days are evil. And, and that, that, that word redeem means to buy back. So basically, it's like you live in and we on borrowed time. Basically, the, the time that we have now is is uh, scarce and precious. people <clears throat> getting into sorcery and witchcraft you see northern child wearing all you see that down you see a northern child woman or a man wearing all white they doing witchcraft that same area like white from head to toe white shirt white pants white shoes and the, the women that wear a white hat that's how you see them with those beads 
Those them voodoo bees, lot and tried Judah too. I was in the gym today, and I was in the bathroom. It was walking around. He had like 50, 11, looking like looking under the fucking the stalls and shit. I'm like, what is nigga on? You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> but these these people, they got spirits on them. Which yeah, yeah. like, They just had Bohemian Grove. Oh yeah. Yep. Meeting. We got you know just to put that out there. Yep. Like last week or two. Yeah. This first thing, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, is about seeking whom he may devour. Right, so like the brothers are saying, you gotta be, you can't be like a, a, a low lion fruit. You can't just be right. simple kind of here. Okay, because the adversary looking for whom he may devour. He wants to devour you, man. He wants to destroy you, man. And if you start slipping, that's what possibly can happen. That's what happened to a lot of our people because they, they got, they got, Living on the they're not watching, they're not watching, they're not keeping watching. Nope. And, and really, you really, levels of wisdom, you know, the, the apostles and the elders, they always get into the levels of wisdom. And, you know, Jake ain't, 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 ain't on no type of level. No type of level. Nah. So, they just parents. Hey, us in this truth, we're supposed to be gradually, even, all right, in the truth, but majority of the, of the some, a lot of the wisdom that we're going to use is, Actually, when we in the world, just because you're not around, you got to use majority of wisdom when you by yourself, right? right. Maneuvering through society, be a be a dragon in wisdom, man. Right. Knowing how to maneuver, knowing what to say, not to say. You know what right. I'm saying? How to act. So you can't be in this all day. Yeah. Right. Watching videos. So yeah, you actually got to apply what you what you know. Right. And yeah, you might, you know, if you don't, you don't fail one test, and yeah, okay, I should did this differently. Right. But then the next time it comes, you know how to uh, 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 do it. Right. You can't there you go. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got a, like a, the Lord said, wise as a serpent. Right. A, a, a snake is, is how he slithers and maneuvers through cunning. his cunning. Right, he don't go straight up. No. I'm not, just like Esau, he don't come straight up right. because... What he gives you is not what he's thinking. No. And that's how we have to be in this world. You, you just showing your hand, showing everything you think come out your mouth. You are not being wise. No, you're not. You know, you gotta, you gotta be like an Edomite. You gotta be like an Edomite yeah. and, and righteousness. But on the right hand side. Right. You know what to supply. You know, you have to know what to do first. You gotta, you have this too. Yeah. Slug it, cause you got people that's not in the truth. Like we mentioned the Edomites. That's how they think. That's how they raised to think. Especially these Amalekites, they taught to be, they straight up taught to be subtle from right. young, to be subtle to, you know, they come out and they deal with people in the world when they have to, but they go home, they putting curses on people, doing all type of yep. rituals, you know? Donkey talk. That's right, bro. That's right. That's perfect. That's true. So, hey, that's um, funny. I mentioned the Amalek is the Amalekite at the job. And he, he told me, he said, man, you, you, the, you the coolest one here. You know, but I, 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 I noticed from the Amalekite, he talk all small. He talk real soft. He talk, hey, man, you know. You know, yeah. and I'm like, I just, I'm just watching. Hey, man, this nigga's a devil. Yeah. <laughs> The way it's a woman move, you know, could they be having wives and shit? The way it's woman move, I'm like, she a high witch. 
You know, but they act, they act normal. Exactly. You know, point. So face value, <laughs> uh, they can, they'll fool 99.9%, 99 99% of people except us. Yep. Cause we look like, we'll smile in your face, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But in our mind, the same way you hate us, we hate you even more. Yep. But brothers, you, you can't be simple. Like the brother said, somebody, eh, eh, eh. Brother Ash made a video a little while back. Let these people have it, bro. Let them have it. Sometimes you gotta let them. Hey, man, you got it. You know, even though you need to jack their ass up, man, bro, you got it. I don't want no problem. That's how you have something move, bro. That's how you have something move. No, you got it, bro. You got Let them have it. He was, he was low in, low in, you know. Humble. You got it. Weak. Moses was weak. Right. Like, right. right. hey, right now, but in Florida, it, they know they got this. Permitless carry, mm. so people strap, and you, you could be strapped walking around, and it's a stand your ground on top of that. Yeah. Motherfucker, try you <laughs> legally. You know, somebody try to do something to you, you can blast them, and and you know, you will be justified. Be justified. Yeah. But that is that mean we gonna do that? Nah, yeah. nah because it's, it's we we practicing meekness. Right. You know, we practicing letting things slide. We practicing, you know. Uh, the scriptures speak about how wisdom saved the city. The, the, the poor man's wisdom is despised, but that w w wisdom really gonna get us up out of here. Yeah. Wisdom is gonna have you maneuver through through uh, Jacob's trouble via the angels, of course. But it's gonna be your wisdom, because you can make a, a, a fucked up move in Jacob's trouble, and you might die for it. Yeah. If you know, if, I mean, of course, if you die for it, you know you might be part of the elect. But we gotta actually—that's the most important thing, in my opinion—is to apply. The wisdom that you have obtained. Yeah, right. The scripture say to be a doer of the words. So we these things, but we have to apply it. Apply what you know. So we have to apply what we know at the house, at work, out in the belt. Yeah. Yep. Head on the swivel. Yep. Watch it. Park Kent. You see Amulet, don't curse him out. He don't have to jump. I wish that's something we used to do. <laughs> the truth, talk to me personally, right? everybody, but you know, we used to ride through, you know? <laughs> that's the levels of wisdom. You, 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 you Girl know? from that. Go ahead, get that. It's Isaiah 33 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability, stability of thy times and strength of salvation. And for the Lord Yahweh is in church. All right, so hey, we're going to need to use wisdom in the time to come. How to, how to maneuver in these different times, man, because, hey, it's going to be the, you know, the worst times in history, man. Thomas, so, yeah. not to cut you off, you got base-level Israelites, ones that come in the truth, they got the garment, they just, or, they or, just the, or the t-shirt, or fringes. the t-shirt, they just stay at <laughs> that level. Yeah. 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 The followers of Yahweh, you need to get on another level, man, before uh, Jacob's trouble comes. You got to level up before this shit pop off. You just can't be simple out here just because you got a beard on, you just sitting there. Right. No, nah, bro. Right. You might have, it might be a situation where you got a camouflage and act like you a, a regular civilian. Right. David did. Right. You got to come up on a level. David played the fool. You got to come up on a, a, another level, Jake. Yes, you know you're an Israelite. You got you to gotta keep growing, man. Right. Got to. That's, that's why these, these fringes guys, they're going to take them fringes off. Those first, those you front, I'm calling them the blind guys. You, the ones <laughs> yeah. that's smart, you got, y'all, y'all, y'all got to grow up, man. I say grow up, I ain't talking about physically. I'm talking about spirit. You got to come up on another hoop, man. Uh, I got Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, when, when wisdom entereth into thine heart and in the mind, our knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul. Discretion shall preserve thee, mm. understanding shall keep thee. So discretion, it says verse 11, Proverbs 2 and 11. Discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. So being able to this good from right, right from left, which way to go in time of trouble, uh -huh. not being in haste, the Spirit is going to be guiding you and leading you, giving you that discretion on what to do, how to navigate to what's happening around you. Right. You know? Get down, get down. Discretion before our hell break. Go on. You can apply it. You can apply it. You can apply it. You can apply it. You know? The Lord sees that. He knows our frame. He yep. knows we're not. Right. We're trying in these mortal bodies. Right. Right. He's going to.
Mr. Lockie, he's gonna have to give us an answer. Right. That's right. That's what, what he gives answers. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna give us an answer. Mr. Lockie, he's saying, you know, he know our frame, so he ain't doing that on. Mm -hmm. on. All water. It's good enough. Right. Device, plot. Uh, meaning you got a plot. Yeah. Plot, which means the plot. Right. I mean you gotta move strategically. You can't just be out here, you know, just yeah, simple. Willy really, really, nilly. Uh, 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 it's like you playing a chess game, but you you just moving the pieces anyway. Uh, you, you, you can't chase every nah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's not wise at all. So what if that what if that woman have a disease? Yeah. What if she just foul? Yeah. Just cause she she pretty. Well, the scriptures tell you, uh, Marvel, stumbling out of a woman's beauty. Right, right. Now, do we like pretty women? Yeah. But you get with a uh, bad bitch and then, oh, uh, catch a hell. Well, the scriptures tell you, don't wife up every beautiful chick. Right. The, the most beautiful ones, most, most of the time, they be the worst one. Yeah. yeah. so beautiful. The minute, on, they, the minute they walk out of the house, men after them. So they have to the end of the day, you know, that's on you, man. You, you can't be doing You got to follow what the scriptures say, man. You got to use wisdom. Yeah. You go out there and get you a bad bitch. You get pregnant. You know she's going to put you on child support, man. Yeah, man. Stop yeah. being simple. Mm -hmm. Well, catch the hell, man. You got to use car lot in a uh, shady. You know he's going to nine times out of ten say you a limit. Use wisdom. Jay Cullen, we had the music play in the car like the apostles. <laughs> <laughs> Why Jay got the, the car system? Yeah, but the engine. Bro, we got rims on the tire. We got <laughs> this knowledge to be up on a level like right. Joseph, man. Yeah. Just can't be using it. You just right. all, you know, well, yeah, you know. Uh, and, 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 and he saw coming. He saw bringing his personal mechanic. He want to take that car to the left. Yeah, this is mechanic check that <laughs> when, the, when, the, when the fucking school buses roll up in the hood and say, yeah, we got food over here. Because they are going to come. The buses are going to come. Over here, we got to use the wisdom. It's not up here just so we can get up there and you know, curse people out and hit the precepts, you know, sound all good. No, man. The scripture says, the simple believe in every word, but a prudent man looks well to his So you got to be prudent. You got to leave off from being simple and ignorant. And become prudent by listening to the word of the Lord. This, this is where it's at. Right. This is our heritage, our culture. Seek ye the old. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Look, and walk there. There you go. This Western way is not the way. This Western way is not the way, man. Tom Stone culture. My bad, uh, Black culture, Latino culture. That's the culture, man. Psalms right. 119. That young man tells us good. Take your heed unto that word. Come to the word, man. This is where it's at. Stop being simple. That simple is going to cost you, you know. 
That's gonna cost you in the end. It's gonna free your mind. There you go. The truth. Right. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Right. Right. They asking why? Why this happened? Why? Why? why where? Where? Who? What? Where? Because come to the sanctuary. Exactly. You don't have comfort. In the well, but you see it for the comfort. You got Israelites that know that Israelites. Well, that's because they're entertaining. They don't check their lead, and they don't do what the scripture said to do. Well, I'm coming. Oh, it's just maybe the, the heat. The heat, right? <laughs> it says in verse 14, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. The NIV says, as obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But as he which hath called you is holy, so be holy in all manner of conversation. Because it's written, holy for I am holy. We have to be separate from these different nations, be separate from the wicked yep. of our people. Yep. Those former former, uh, former lusts we had in the world, we have to put that away and become a new man. All right, what makes us holy? The laws, the statutes, and commandments. That separate us from these different nations. Are we going to keep it perfectly? No, but we try. We try to keep the statutes and the commandments to the best of our ability. Now, this part we were just a couple of times talking about. Go ahead, I'll go ahead. Honestly, Rock 6 and 32. It says, My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. If thou bow, not, if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Stand in the multitude of the elders. Believe unto him that is wise. Right. Right. Because hey, they, they, they already they already went to where they had to went to. They, they applied their wisdom, they applied their knowledge, man. So you can learn, learn off of them. And you can use it also, man. Trial and error. So be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. All right, because as the brothers are going into you, you're going to have to use it yourself, man. Yeah. You're going to have to apply it, man. It apply what you've learned. Okay, you're not learning, you know, you're not learning what you learn right now for no reason, man. Okay? He says, and if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee by, get thee be time unto him. Right. And let thy foot, and let thy foot wear the step of, of his door. And a good example is uh, Elijah and Elisha. Very okay. Uh, Elisha was Elijah's under step. Mm -hmm. And Elisha received a double portion of Elijah's anointing. Okay. Well, that's part of it out here. So we have elders. You know? That's right. That's that's our culture. Each one teach one. Thy mind be upon the ordin ordinances of the Lord, and meditate continually in his commandments, to establish thine heart, and give you wisdom and all desires. But the, these scriptures is the highest, especially the interpretation of what we have. The interpretation that we have of the Bible, which is the true interpretation, because everybody got their own interpretation. The understanding that we have, we're actually the wisest people on the planet Earth. And when I say that, I mean us. It's a small group of men that actually understand the truth. When I say the truth, I mean the real truth, GMS truth. And it ain't, you know, of course, we say GMS, but he said we, we got a, a major responsibility. Much is given, much is required. So if anybody is, is being held to a higher standard, the ones that that all so we gotta we, that's what, that's just what it is man we gotta be wise read that, that part therefore are you six yeah so i said wise therefore you can yeah i'm gonna say something like that in psalms too like the brother was saying you know the most high trust that when it works but also our defenders of the gospel that's why we hear some of these other groups going up and breaking down things wrong Gotta step in and rebuke it. So well, well really, it right, that too, and their behavior, right. too. A lot of their behavior is, is, is wacky, man. Right. Wisdom of Solomon, six. Yeah, and four. Six. 
I, I bring it up. Oh. This was my phone in chapter six. No, um, let's start up. This is Solomon chapter 6 and verse. You want me to jump down now? Uh, it was uh, this is Solomon 6 and 1. Here, therefore, all ye kings that understand, learn ye that be judges of the ends of the earth. Like the brothers were saying, you know, we're the true judges of the earth. But when we part that elect, why? Because we're the only that understand true judgment. That's why they'll do all type of wickedness, and then when the judgment comes, they say, Why God? You know, they don't know who's bringing these women come out here scantily clad, be, be you know, drunk, fucked up, stumbled, you know, come out they self or so have it to them. They, they don't, they so oh, you're supposed to, to control yourself. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, verse 2 Give ear, ye that rule the people and glory in the multitude of nations. Verse 3, For power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest who shall try your works and search out your counsels. Because being ministered, be, because being ministers of his kingdom, ye have not judged the right, nor kept the law, nor after the counsel of the Most High. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you for a sharp Judgment shall be to them that be in high places. So like the brother said, you know, uh, to whom much is given, much is required. And that's why, you know, the Lord had us go into captivity, had us go into our core of slavery. Why? Because when we were, you know, sovereign, when we were our own king, we didn't rule right, you know? So the Lord, you know, what is like? But, you know, as the scriptures say, Baruch 4, as you have as it was your mind to go straight from the Lord, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Mentally, that's part of the curses. Yep. Plague of the mind. Mm -hmm. he, he made our, which Jake was humble, but. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 Ye
real. And the most yeah. I real. Right. Yep. But I got I got some. So Mr. Solomon, going back to what you were saying on, uh, you know, where, where the most High is putting us in this position so we could be, you know, rightful judges. This is the wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 12 and verse, verse uh, 16. For thy power is the beginning of, for when men will not believe that thou art of full power, thou show strength and among them that wit. Thou makest their boldness manifest. It is happening right now. Them that know the power of the Lord are their boldness is being so for the name of great boldness. But um for thou mayest use power when thou were. Which he he can do that, because we we well, he, he the most high can do whatever he, verse 19. But by such works hast thou taught thy people that the just man should be merciful. The children to be of a good hope that thou get repentance for sin. Right? So we the Lord is teaching how to be merciful, which we were going into being long suffering, you know, not being so angry, you know, using using wisdom, right? Which the scriptures say we're vessels of mercy. Lord willing, we're part of that number. That means you gotta show mercy. You gotta mercy to obtain mercy. Um I'm going to jump down. Verse 22. Therefore, whereas thou dost chasten us, thou scourgest our enemies a thousand times more to the intent that when we judge, we should carefully think of thy goodness and we ourselves are judged should look for mercy. So the Lord is preparing us to be, you know, the, the, the rightful judges of the earth. So we got to understand judgment. We got to understand mercy. We got to understand, you know, we got to understand wrath. You know? So, when we, when, even though the scriptures say, you know, we're going to rule, you know, with a rod of iron, that's, you know, initially them first thousand years is going to be real brutal. It's going to be no mercy for Esau first. Okay? Uh, and then the other nations, they got to get a, a foot up their ass. You know, after those thousand years, because we're going to rule forever. We, we're going to be the just forever. So we're never going to stop. Life is going to continue to increase. Earth is going to be populated. Then we're going to branch out to different worlds. We're going to have their own kingdoms. You're going to be judging matters amongst amongst the, the heathen. So we have to, and when that time comes, we're going to think about, you know, all the mercy the Lord had on us back then, so to speak. Right, right. Great mercy. That's right. We all going to have mercy on the, on the heat. Because we're going to have to deal with it. Right. Like King Solomon did. He made different alliances with heathen, you know, business deals and stuff like that. Because they, they got to survive. They got to be on this planet Earth. They're not gonna be slave, slave forever. You know, we're gonna have slaves. Right. But you're gonna have some even good businesses. Yeah. You know? They're gonna pay tribute. Exactly. That's right. How they how they gonna get that business? We they gonna have to it's gonna have to get approved by That's right. They're gonna have to come to us. Like we gotta go to the, get a, a car loan. Yeah. <laughs> they they we gonna we're gonna have to set them up. That's right. If we want to. They ain't gonna be doing their own thing. Right. They right. gotta come to the bosses. <laughs> Come on. Well, you know, we in real room and shit. We got plays. Right. The woman's in order. Right. You know, the mm -hmm. kids. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm just 69. Carry the aisles out. Wait for me. And the ship is charged first. Bring thy sons from far. They're serving their gold. But to the name of Lord Yahweh, thy power. To the Holy One of Israel, because we have glorified thee. Lord, break that down. All right, so, hey, they're going to be bringing us, you know, silver and gold, man. Okay, and uh, many more of resources. Ooh, you know, the heathen. Right. Mm -hmm. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall, and their king shall minister unto thee. For, I, for in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor I have, have I had mercy on thee. So, when is this going to take place? In the kingdom. In the kingdom, right? After, when, that's Isaiah 60? Yes. Right? So that's that's future prophecy. That's that's talking about in the kingdom. The Christians will tell you that, right? 
the, the, the wolf shall lay with the, the lamb, you know? <laughs> so they understand that this is talking about who they would call Christ, yeah. uh, millennial rule, so to speak. Would you reading that off what? KJV? Okay, I know the blue letter give subheadings. They probably would have said something like that. But, um, so where is hell? <laughs> this is talking about the kingdom after the, the, the kingdom of the Lord is established. Have Israelites ruling the other nations? That's on earth, right? Yeah. So, but they're gonna they're gonna pay. It's gonna, they're gonna have to. That's a them paying, meaning what they they they're paying. But I thought in the, in in heaven everybody you know equal. <laughs> yeah. That's that's clearly showing a, a class. Yep. It's gonna be a class system for the kingdom of heaven. Yep. It's gonna be an ethical hierarchy. In the kingdom of heaven, the Israelites are going to be That's how we know when you read, what's that, Galatians 3, where it said there's neither Jew nor Greek, you no know, man or woman, bond or free. Mm -hmm. That's how we know that's not that's not talking about the other nations. The other nations are not included in because we just read that, you know, that we're not going to be on, on uh, the same level. We're going to be, you know, it's going to be levels. That's right. So you telling me even if they believe in in JC, they they still gotta be subject to the Israelites? Right. <laughs> well, uh, questions for the so-called Christians. Yep. They can't. You can't get around. That's why it's not just real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, he fostered it up. He probably thirsty, man. <laughs> and animals gonna be subject to us, man. That's right. Uh, gonna, yep. You know, And the sons, the strangers shall build up thy walls, and your king shall minister unto thee. For my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Alright, so the heathen's king, they will minister unto us, man. Okay, okay, they will, be, they will come up to us, you know, bend it down. Yeah, okay. You know, serve, serving us, man. You know, telling us what's going on in the land, you know, what's going wrong. It says, uh, therefore that gate shall be open continually. It shall, it shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their king may be brought. Right, so you know the different resources of the heathens are going to be brought to us continually, man. Okay, 24 7. Okay. Pay that tribute to the kings. <laughs> and they, they're going to be happy to do it. They're going to want to, they're going to be competing amongst themselves to bring the best stuff to obtain, you know, the most favor. Right. That's right. See, we ain't going to. Do like Esau. Esau, he's wicked in his uh, uh, tricky. Man. He's very evil and wicked. To a point, he don't care if he's survive or not. <laughs> right. You know, that's wicked, man. That's a blessing within itself. Why do the heathen uh, 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 compete against one another to serve us, to bring us stuff? That's, that's a blessing of us. Right. Because <laughs> you know that's what the real meaning of the word blessed is, to, right. to bend the knee. You know? You know, to have subjects. That's the thought of that, man. You no, know, but you, like you said, we said Esau, he, he's, he's off. These nations right now, they, they, you know, they don't want to give tribute to eat. No. They're not happily doing it. No, no, they're not. They, they, they just, you know, through his, his, you know, paperwork and right. his financial system, they, they tied to. It, but you see what's going on now. They, right. they're, they're, mad. they're, they're tearing apart. Mad. They that eat their bread out later, wound other be. Uh -huh. So this, this man is finished. Esau's the end of the world. Revelation 2, verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. He shall rule them with the rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall be broken to ship, even as I receive of my father. And hey. now he says in verse 26, to the one who is victorious and does my will to the end, I would give Does that sound symbolic or or metaphorical? <laughs> it sounds, you know, literal. Right now, he has 
power over the, the, the nation. But the most high put them in rule. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the most high doing his move. Yep. And the Lord is coming out to be out of power man. and the Lord will uh, set up a righteous kingdom. A righteous rule. We always say he saw time America was a uh, top dog. But now you see Russia coming up. And yeah. Russia is out for giving African countries yeah. billions of dollars. It, it, they're still eating. Right. They, they were, well, on that, they, uh, you had uh, Russia signed a deal with 40 different African nations on, you know, basically uh, which joining their military together. So... Mm -hmm. So, so Esau, Edom has a grip on earth, whether it be Russians or Americans. They're still Edomites. They had to, they had to choose the, the lesser evil. Exactly. Of the and, you know? <laughs> they're both the devil. They're still Edomites. Yeah. Which we can, right. tell, we can tell, that's e Esau has a grip on the planet Earth. Russia got the most nukes, and I think America is next. Yep. The Lord gave the two Edomites the, the most destructive weapon in human history. As in, in man human history, which goes to show you that these people they run the world. That's, that's beautiful, though. When you really think about it, yeah, the, the two top, you know, you might which which uh, which Russia is the nation, but we know they got they got people joining onto them. Yeah. Then you got the beast, right? Which is NATO and EU, but the Lord gonna make the beast turn. America yep. too. Yep. The beast is going to hate the whore. Yep. So they they totally the. Yep. So the beast is going going to side with Russia. That, that's they, they, yeah they about to go to sign maybe sign with Brickstale. <laughs> Which you know that Nord Stream pipeline. Oh. No, it, America was behind that. Uh huh. So so we don't want to hear uh oh so called white man doesn't rule the world. He does. And at the press of a button, he can destroy everything. Two deep, deep Edomites. They have the, the weapons to do it. And the Lord gave it to them. The so-called white man rules the world. If it ain't the Russians, it's the Americans, all right? The thing about it is, a movie, the movie is, he saw it the end of the world, the end of it, that follows him. You know, we know we got next. So we're not going to put it on the the prophecy. But at the end of that End of that, we know we want to be the worship. That's that's the thing. Yep. Look, you have some uh, uh, Luke 11, verse 17. And he know thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against himself, the house divided. That's why the Lord's bringing that uh, Amos 9. They're going to close the door. Uh, so now, we live in the time where those who are in rulership, which are the Edomites, they're divided. So, according to prophecy, when you are divided, you're going to follow. Yep. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. It says, um, show you the words of the most high yeah, yeah. time faithful and true. You see how uh created the beast, NATO and the EU, the Lord got he dealing, you know, he, he got Russia on the other hand building their own, you know what I'm saying? Right. And they, they they clash. And then they think whoever gonna win is gonna be the next ruler. Eh. Um. 11, <laughs> 17. And you knowing their thoughts, said unto them, every king divided against the southern property nation, and the house divided against the house falling. Right, so that Esau ain't no different. It says every kingdom. He saw him involved in that. Every kingdom. So why? Mosai ruled in the kingdom of men, right? It says every kingdom that is divided. You're going to fall. So the Mosai is not a respecter of persons. Esau, you're going to fall too, man. 
Yeah, even though the scripture says your inward thought is that your hope shall last forever. That's not going to happen. You can't afford prophecy, man. You see? You're going to fall. And, and the, 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 what do they say? The bigger you are, the mightier the fall. <laughs> okay? You got the whole world. So you're going to have a big fall. You got that. It's uh, more on that. Oh, you read verse 18? Read verse 18, my book of Shadow. Unless you want me to read it. I got In the previous verse, um, previous chapter, y'all was trying to say, um, see, I beheld Satan in fall as fall as light, which was talking about that Roman Empire. Okay, coming back today, Mister Esau, which he fell, he fell, but he came back, and now he's gonna fall again for good. Because he said that I cast out devils to Belzebub. Yeah, that's it. I just wanted to, you know, that point. Because Esau is Satan. Right, so the, the outside is calling a nation of people Satan. Okay. Yeah. So-called Christians don't call about that. Yeah. Okay. A kingdom has to be physical, right? Right. Yes. 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 Yes.
deliver certain people to say, right. you deliver, well, I got the account. Mm -hmm. First thing would be chapter 1, verse 20. Of whom is Hamanaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. It might be Burton Ernie. <laughs> so that might be Burton Ernie in the same spirit. Yep. Yep. I'm amazed that that for real. If you can deliver them to say, you're going to be saying all manner of yeah. blasphemy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go out of it. Right, yeah. Right. Right. So right. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Right. You know. Which means the demons have to obey them, right? <laughs> they have to obey the most high. Like the most high is up there saying, no, Satan, no, stop, stop, do it anyway. Right. You niggas are crazy because you don't understand God then. Right. You know, the Lord, that's how I take that spirit from you, though. Right. You know, you know how to turn and the son of God can't talk to you, right? Yep. Right. Yep. So, sometimes the son of God, I'm going to son of God. I mean, hey, that's, that's crazy. You got these demons they have uh, jurisdictions you know yep. like like police departments and shit they got a little this area and they're over that area that's how it is in the spiritual realm yep. you know, these different demons you know these different cities miami las vegas demons just setting up shop in, the, in these places Edomites, they work, they work with the demons. They actually have counsels with the demons. They be talking to them. You know, the demons give them information, give them how to make different, this technology and shit they be making. 
these different uh the atomic bomb all that shit nuclear weapons the ai shit they coming with technology that and you know the different It's funny if you said it because uh, you had this one guy, I forgot his name, but they had this comedy sketch called uh, The Whitest. He had his own show, Comedy Central and shit, but he did like, he used to talk about the Illuminati and shit. They had a they had a, a actual sketch uh, on Comedy Central where they showed him getting the, the contract to get the show with Comedy Central. And he had to meet in this dark room with people with hoods and shit, and they, was, they say you gotta sell yourself to the devil. And this is on Comedy Central, and he also another uh, sketch where he was uh, he was playing a demon, and he was talking to Satan and saying was like, you know, uh, he did something he wasn't supposed to do, and Satan was stabbing on that. You 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 on weed? Right <laughs> you, you on... Yeah, it's levels, it's levels to, to the left and it's the right hand. We're gonna show you that Satan can give you goodies because Satan tried to give you house shot goodies. Yeah, Satan do that. Does he have, he have power over this That's physical, right. over the physical world? That's right. He has power. And he, you see these people that they are rich. They filthy rich. And you got, uh, I don't know if it's true, but I heard some Amalekites, they go to the bank and they can just get money out of, out of ATM. I wouldn't doubt it. You know? This is their ownership. That's what I'm, so there's levels. There's a whole other realm of, of wickedness that's going on, man. Jeremiah 24 says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked side. This point. This is our own shirt. If we know what our Lord returns, it's going to be a righteous ruler. I, I, I don't know about you. They say you go in there, you type in some number, ATM, and money just come out. Yeah. Well, we, we've seen it. We've seen it. So, me and the brother, you know, we was in the ATM. Oh, really? The Amalekite. Yeah, me and Colin, let's say the story. We was in the ATM at the bank. It was an Amalekite in front of us. And uh, he did some shit. He was typing some shit. He did something. And then the money just came out. And then he went off. Then we went on to it, and it was broke. It said out of order. <laughs> See, he what, the, the fact. these people they can they can they can give they sold it to Satan and Satan to give them goodies. Hey, quick reset. Hey, hey, let's just say about Proverbs eleven one. A false brother, a brother listening to the law, but a just way to lose Hey, hey, some brothers, uh, they they might be presented with that before the collapse. It might be presented with it. Well, that's basically, you know, you saw, you know, coming at you with the karagma. Yep. You might be presented with it. Yeah, I know you had your testimony. Right. You know, yeah. brothers might be presented with it on, on, the, on the physical, be sent a, a physical representative of the be another way. Because guess what? With that, with the neural link, they, they saying they can hook your brain up to the internet. That, that's like, man, yeah, become a fucking a stock expert oh, trading true. expert over there you got ai with your shit you could just create all type of business and shit and money just come you know that's, that's basically a form of, you know that's true though right damn that's true they saying when this shit come out everybody gonna have to get it because it's those and shit when get that shit they're gonna become level oh like a superhuman right yeah. that's how they're setting it up but that's part of his miracles. They're the right, most right. The, the those that are ruled by those. Yeah. That are, that are oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come, come, come. Yeah. Those that. Yeah. I got. Uh, 
Pistons, otherwise known as the Rock, chapter 33, verse 14, verse 13. It says, as the clay is in the Father's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made it to render to them as like it him best. Good is set against and life against death. So, it says, so is the godly against the sinner, and the sinner against the godly. So look upon all the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against another. Yeah, so the Most High deal with duality, man. You're going to have left. You know, you just understand. The righteous character is the Israelites. Right. That's the wicked character. Challenges already. Why not go hard for the Lord? Rituals with that shit because that that crate met the, the crate challenge. That, that go back to Nissan, uh, Nissan. And you look up the symbols of uh, checkerboard, black and white. Not just that, but they have a stairway on on both sides, and then you got one side I believe it's called the Scottish right, and the other one is the, the Irish right or something like that. But you can look it up. The milk crate challenge. It goes back to a, like going like leveling up in masonry, yep. like the degrees, and then the top is, is the thirty third degree. That's a form of masonry, a fraternity, you know. Yeah. It's their own uh, form. You know, those challenges, they only, they popular for the Jake, man. Yeah, simple. Like, you don't see Emma challenges like that? Niggas was getting shot doing that shit. Oh, somebody broke a neck doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Father, yeah. Jake, 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 the crates? Yeah, they were selling the crates for like 50 cents and shit like yeah, that. You think it was buying <laughs> <laughs> You know? Yeah. Jake ain't the ass you want. Jake is, uh... And when the temple came to him, he said, If thou be a son of God, command these stones to be made bread. To talk to y'all's heart. What? What? The count? He was uh, fasting, right? Yep. Yeah. Right. So he was tempting him 
Of course, he was mad. He was hungry. He was trying to get him to break his fast. Break his fast. Well, so, uh, see, here comes Satan at your weakest point. <laughs> I was just about to think about that. But, see, he came to the outside at his weakest point. Ooh. I don't know the same thing with Eve. He went to the weaker vessel. Right. He went to Eve. So that shows you, he, come, he comes to you when you're weak. And you're strong too, but the weak is because that's the cunning, that's the cunning plan. It's, it's, it's warfare. Yeah, you know. That's how he saw more. Yeah. That's how you saw him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's from the back. He'll attack you from the back. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, you know, that's, in, you know, any war. Because you had, uh, uh, ancient war, you would have a siege, siege the city. Yep. Cut off uh, um, the trade, yep. food supply lines. Right. That's a dirty game, though. Because you got to come out. Right. Either you starve or you come yeah. over, come out. <laughs> and fight. That's what right. right. So that's basically, you know, that's what Satan tried to do. He tried to use the fact that Yahweh Shah was fasting to, you know, tempt them. But we, as you keep reading. Yeah, but he, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the most high. That was a per perfect comeback. So the, the scriptures are the perfect comebacks. Right. Same. So you don't have to use your own word, you use a word. Or the Most High, something that's already written. Because uh, yeah. Satan knows the word of the Most High, which is going, it's going. Then the devil taking him up into the holy city and set him on the on the pinnacle of the, of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, he shall, he shall give his angels charge concerning thee. And in their hands they shall bear, they shall bear thee up, and at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against the stone. Who, who he was, so Satan was quoting King David. Yeah. yeah. And the most yeah. I put Satan on King David. Yeah. yeah. He did. But, you know, King David using, I mean, Satan using King David. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Which the scriptures say that the angels desire to, to look into this thing. Yeah. You know? But he was trying to use the word of the most I on the left hand side. Yeah, yeah. No, go ahead, Salaki. Y'all shall said unto him, It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Again, the devil take him up into a exceeding high mountain and show and show him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things will I give thee, if that if thou will fall down and worship me. Then see y'all shall unto him, get thee hence, Satan. For it is written, Thou shalt not thou shalt worship the Lord thy power only that's all sorry. Then the devil leave to him and behold, I thought she told him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, but you, what I noticed is that these times that Satan tried to tempt the house shy, there was no rebuttal. He couldn't rebuttal him because he used the scriptures. Right. He just, he just tried to, you know, jump to another scripture. So it was a, like, it was a, it was spiritual warfare. Mm -hmm. but, you know, that was like if some you got a high level, let's say a brother that that was uh, know the, tr the truth of all the scriptures, you know, but it, but the most I bug him out, turn him to a demon, but he still know all the scriptures. They can still try to you know yeah. use him for, for the left hand. Like a war. Uh, oh yeah, like yeah, like this no light. <laughs> you know. So we we could we could close out on this. You can keep is, is there any more on that. Yeah, go ahead. And the devil leave it him, behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Yep. Yep. So there you go. The angels came and ministered unto him after that. So to, to bring him back up. Build him back up. Yep. Yep. So if the if 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 which the most side, which still I can go back to go back to read verse one. Nah, that's, I, I want to hear the reverse. Read verse one. Back to one, right. Then which I will shall let up the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. So the spirit led him in the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Right. So the most I sent uh, Satan to tempt Yahweh Shai. Right. right. Exactly. And, and, and the physical angels, which are the brothers. Right. Brothers and sisters too. Which um, uh, Yahweh Shai told uh, Peter. Satan desire to sift thee, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. 
and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. But that's what that's what Yahweh said, you know. You know, he 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 uh he held his faith or resist Satan, he shall flee from thee. Show me the power of the most high. Satan is the top uh level spirit on the left hand and he can't withstand the scriptures. <laughs> right. So this is the most powerful weapon mm -hmm. in existence. Right. 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 Yep. Say, uh, <laughs> you know, the tempter came to the tempter comes to us. Most high be sending the tempter to test us that time. <laughs> right. That's what he's for. He's doing the dirty work. <laughs> right. So with that low one, this uh lesson is edifying. We want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rahakwadash. Shalom. 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 Shalom.